Hello, um, now I created my new account for Help Beginners Guide by um, setting a password and choosing the name and then I uh, see in my browser, as you can see I'm in the browser, um, in the internet browser and you see this welcome page from the hunter. Um, you can see you have different choices to um, what you can do. I suggest you to do the tutorials first. Uh, I want, I will skip this um, because they are well explained. Um, what I want to show you is what you can see and do on the on the home page of the hunter and in your profile. Uh, I think then we go out to do a hunt, and I show you how you can successful hunt which species you can hunt and which reserves are um, available for not non-member players. Okay, first um, in the in this line um, above you have um, the options here for uh, friends, you can add friends in the game, you can send messages um, this is your purchase history that's at the moment not interesting for us and here you see two different um, dollar based currencies um, first are the EM dollars and this is um, a game currency you have to buy with real money or or to win in competition you can win it in competitions or you can um, do um, advertising stuff I'm not really into it so maybe you have to look at other places how this works. The second currency are the GM dollars. Um, this is an in-game currency you didn't have to buy. Um, you can uh, earn this by doing missions. Missions are here. Um, we come later to this point. Here you can buy EM dollars, um, earn EM dollars. This is the advertising stuff. Here you can update your membership. Um, I, su I assume that people who look the guest beginners guide don't want to uh, do uh, to buy to buy a membership at the first place so we left this out here is your profile um, your hunter score I um, say later on something about it you can change here your settings okay first first I look at my profile I can click here or at the welcome screen you can go here for the profile but to get used to it I click here so this is the player profile and here you have um, different tabs um, where you can see different stuff the first page show you an over, uh, overview over your achievements this is about the hunter score the hunter score is a uh, I will say not really a skill based score it's more a, a grinding score so how many animals have you harvested how many weapons have you sh uh, shoot and how much exploration do it um, have you done on the reserves so for the beginning I suggest not to focus too much on the hunter score especially if you're only a guest player um, we have here a, an the next tab is about skills um, we have different skills in the hunter. You can spot animals um, with the binoculars or uh, through the scope, um, and you get suggestion what uh, gender is the animal, um, what weight have has the animal, or what scores has an animal. Um, and the more animals you spot, um, I show this in the gameplay. Um, the higher your level gets, it goes up to twenty. Same for tracking. Um, animals left tracks on the ground like um, footprints uh, or other stuff, blood, etc. And your tr tracking level um, goes up. The same is for the weapons. You have a level for the weapons. Each hit you do with a weapon um, increases your level. And um, the higher your weapon level is, the wobbling of the weapon while aiming um, is less. Okay. Then you have your general statistics. Here you can see the last hunt, all your hunts, your lifetime statistic, and your personal bests. Um, obviously, 
this is a brand new account, so there's nothing. Um, you have a gallery where your f um, photos and screenshots um, are um, saved. Trophies, if you um, win trophies in competitions, and a friend list. Okay, that's for the for the beginning, I think. These are the... Uh, I want to show you one thing, ag uh, one thing before we start uh, playing. You have here the mission, uh, the competitions and the missions. These two things are um, interesting for guest players because you can uh, earn by doing missions, uh, GM dollars, and you can buy stuff with it. And you have, uh, uh, you can um, win competitions. Uh, in competitions, the real real money currency EM dollars. So um, what I show you first is the missions. Um, at the beginning you have to do three missions. These three to um, um, unlock all other missions who are possible. So if you are a guest player you have you have to uh, be aware that you only can hunt at the first time for mule deer and for um, rabbits. But um, at the beginning you only have a weapon for mule deer. So you can only hunt mule deer. So I suggest you uh, should suggest to you before you go out the first time hunting look at this mission page and activate the missions. You can see uh, for this mission you get 100 GM dollars. For the next mission you get another 100 and another 100 so you can gain um, 100, uh, 300 uh, GM dollars um, by doing the first three missions. Um, the mission system is you have here an overview for mule deers, this the species we hunted as guests. Um, the, ha the next mission gets you more GM dollars so the last one gets the most so you can earn quite a bit of the GM dollars. So we had uh, we had activated the missions. Um, note that you can activate missions um, during hunting. So if you are in a game, you've you accomplished the missions, you have activate, you can go to the website and activate another mission and it's um, I mean in real time on in the, in the game you play, so you don't have to start a new game. Next is are the competitions. The competitions you can't activate a competition during um, during a game. If you activate a competition, you have to start a new game. That's a little bit different and a little bit um, yeah, complicated at the beginning. But you get used to it if you play some time. So fr I, as I said, uh, only species we can hunt at the moment is mule deer. You can look there. Every they are different different competitions all the time. They are uh, normally running for um, 80, uh, 48 hours. So you can see this is from the 28th to the 30th. Um, it's heavy hit starter. The average weight of your three heaviest mule deer um, will win this competition. And you see the this competition are uh, this competition is um, separated in three categories starter intermediate and elite this um, this is by uh, how many um, mule deers you have harvested already if you you are under 50 mule deers you are uh, in the starter um, division if you are if you have 51 to 500 you are in the intermediate and over 500 you are in the elite um, you you should look that you go come pretty fast over the 50 because I click at this you can see um, prices for the starters are only trophies you see and if I go back and show you the intermediate um, the prices here are EM dollars real real money dollars so if you are able to get one of the first three places in a mission um, you can earn EM dollars and by the time you can buy stuff with it, um, like other weapons, scopes, or other things. Okay, so, but first of all, to show you, and um, 
a trophy is nice in your in your profile I activate this competition too it's the only one I can do at the moment because we are guests we only have a mule deer license uh, no we have a uh, license for mule deers and rabbits but um, we um, only have a weapon at the start to hunt mule deers we have to earn some um, GM dollars to buy another weapon okay I know a lot of talking at the beginning and no playing but I think it's good for you to know what's going on in the game because um, I assume most of you have read bad reviews of the game in at, at Steam because of the pricing model and um, I agree that it's not a classic free-to-play title like we know it from other games it's more like um, it's more like a, it's not only a demo you can really play with it but you can't get every single item and and stuff in the game so uh, I agree a little bit with this uh, criticism um, labeling it as a free-to-play title but I want to show you show all of you that you can have fun as a guest in this game because you have to keep in mind this is a hunting type of simulation and in the if you go in real life hunting you have an attack for every animal that's roaming around you have a tag for a special animal and in this time we only have a tag for mule deers and rabbits we own at first place only a, a weapon for the mule deer so we go off the mule deer and that's not a big problem so um, I will stop for a short um, what I forget Another thing before we go out in the reserves is um, if you need some help or if you want to inform you about the game, here is the help button. I opened it in a separate tab. Um, and when you go on this help button, you have your guides, video tutorials, stuff like that. But wha what I want to show you is there is a Hunter Wiki that um, had very useful information. You have this Hunter Wiki, the first link is to the English one, then you have one in German, in Portuguese and in French. And um, this is the um, Hunter Wiki. I go to the start page to show you. This is the main page. The Hunter Wiki of the... Um, oh, I have to get this plugin um, run. So this is the start page. And if you look at missions down here, um, you can go to the Mule missions and you have walkthrough videos for every um, for every mission um, some of them are a little bit outdated not in terms of what you have to do but how the reserves look because of the permanent development of the, of the game and if you go for the first one you can first see what are the objectives um, here is a video okay for, for me the flash player needs a permission don't want to show this um, and you get how uh, what kind of reward you get so um, go back and back so you can look for other animals for example the the cottontail rabbit missions and what you have to do and you have a list of what weapons you need to do this I go up to the mule deer missions again now where it is here and you see until the big rack up close um, uh, mission you can do the, mi the mule missions with any permitted um, with any permitted weapon and so your weapon is uh, valid for it and if I go to the last one you can do you can see you get for this one 1300 GM dollars so you can get a good amount of GM dollars um, by doing the missions so okay um, the other thing on the help page is you can go to the hunter forum um, if you want to have a say or uh, want to inform you there are many useful informations if you have questions there the community is really great and helpful um, if you not only go there for raging about the games uh, but you want 
to uh, to get answers to questions about the gameplay or other stuff you um, go there uh, post post there and I'm sure you get help okay so um, this is the first part of my um, of Forced Health Beginners Guide for guest players or beginners in the game um, in the next video uh, we go out hunting um, and uh, harvest our first mule deer bug hopefully so I hope this was helpful to you um, this was Forced Health happy hunting